Hey there guys, it's Kyle here. We already know that September Community Day is going to be featuring Oshawa and we're getting shiny Oshawa in the game. Can't wait for that. It's going to be fun. Well, earlier today, the next Community Day for October has been announced. So, man, this one's a very interesting one because, of course, October is Halloween. And... I have a feeling, this entire time, I had a feeling that a ghost type Pokemon will be featured for October Community Day, and it is indeed a ghost type Pokemon. It is Duskull. We're getting, we're getting a Duskull Community Day for October. The only unfortunate thing is that Shiny Duskull is already in the game and it's going to lower the value of Shiny Duskull and I still prefer a new Shiny Pokemon released during Community Days, but it is what it is. So I'm going to read you guys the details for Duskull Community Day. It's going to be on Saturday, October 9th from the usual 6 hours, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. in your local time zone. So let me find it. There's going to be three hour lures and three hour incense as usual. Three times catch stardust, which is amazing. The exclusive move for Dustnor is Shadow Ball, which is a very solid move in general. I already have a shiny Dust Skull. I got it like, I think a few years ago. Uh, and the stats on it are crap. <laughs> but hey, at least I'll be uh, completing my Shiny Duskull family. We're going to get the Community Day Special Research. Nothing dull about this skull, which is $1. It's optional. You don't need to pay a dollar to play this Community Day or Oshawa Community Day. You can play Oshawa Community Day, Duskull Community Day for free. It's just the special research is optional. And then the Community Day uh, box is going to be featuring uh, 50 Ultra Balls, 4 Incense, 4 Star Pieces, and Elite Charge TM. And then take 5 snapshots during Community Day. For a surprise, Duskull Encounters, I know, which is fine. And then a free uh, bundle with 30 Ultra Balls. Which is... Oh, and yeah. In order to get a Dusknoor, you need Sinnoh Stones. So it's 100 candies to evolve Dusclops into Dusknoor. You need a Sinnoh Stone as well in order to get one, so... But don't worry, there's a time research. Once Duskull Community Day starts, it will give you some Sinnoh Stones. I think four? Oh yeah, it does say four Sinnoh Stones. So yeah. Let me know in the comments below about your thoughts about Duskull Community Day. I'm looking forward to it. Too bad it's not Litwick, because Litwick, uh, it would be a new shiny Pokemon added to the game. Uh, but let do you guys think Litwick will get a community day? And do you think it's shiny will be released on a community day or some other event? Just let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm down for Duskull Community Day. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, drop a like on this video if you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time on the next video. Bye-bye.